Brian Manaya Faiga shows off his Polynesian pride through traditional dance. But he's not proud of what he did while playing football for the University of Hawaii. He says he took steroids and never got caught. I tried it because I felt like, you know, the mindset of most young men in football is, I gotta get bigger. The National Collegiate Athletic Association says Brian's story is the exception. The NCAA reports the failure rates of its steroids testing at less than 1%, but that low percentage is under scrutiny. The Associated Press examined the weights of more than 60,000 players on rosters from 120 teams over the past decade. It found thousands of players rapidly putting on significant weight, with hundreds gaining as much as 80 pounds in less than a year, or 40% of their body mass. Experts say the gains are unusual. Something is missing here. What it is, I don't know. Uh, there, there's no standard, uniform standard for, for this, apparently, uh, or uh, the testing is shoddy, or, or sports are clean. NCAA sports is clean, and I think we know that's not the case. So it's a joke. Um, it's not a serious sort of thing. Anti-doping pioneer Don Catlin spent years conducting the NCAA's laboratory tests. He says his frustration with the college system's inadequate testing program was one of the reasons he left. He says teams are often given several days warning before tests are conducted. More than enough time to flush water-based steroids from the body. And he says it's widely known that the tests being conducted are not designed to catch certain types of steroids. And then they argue that we're testing for them. Technically, they're they're correct, but if you pin them down and say, well, the reason your rates are so low is you don't test for all of them. And all of the athletes know that, of course, so they're not going to come in and, uh, on stenozolol if they know you're testing for it. <laughs> That's stupid. Some schools do have tough policies if a player is caught using steroids. North Carolina kicks players off the team after a single positive test. But other schools barely punish players at all. At the University of Maryland, students get counseling after testing positive, but the school prohibits disciplining first-time steroid users. Brian eventually suffered nagging injuries he blamed on the drugs and stopped taking them. Now he warns younger players to stay away from steroids. You might win for a little while, but you're not going to win forever because it's going to catch up with you. You know, whatever the consequence is, it's going to happen. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Richmond, California.